great message that Fernando, as usual, does a great job. We're very thankful, I am thankful today, to have the opportunity to stand before you. We continue to pray for our brother Daryl, who's going through some medical uh, things this morning, so we continue to pray for him. I have a question for you this morning, and I won't hold you very long. If you knew that you would not go to heaven if you did certain things, would you continue to do them? The works of the flesh are many. I want you to turn with me, if you will, to Galatians. The, uh, the, the fifth chapter. Beginning at verse uh, number 19. And we'll read through 26. Galatians 5, 19 through 26. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, of idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, demulence, wrath, strife, sedition, heresy. Read those y manifestas son las obras de la carne que son adulterio, fornicación, inundicia, lascivia, virutería, hechicerías, enemistades, pleitos, celos, tiras, contiendas, disensiones, herejías. Verse number 21 says, envyings, murder, drunkenness, revelings, such life of the which I tell I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Envidias, homicidios, borracheras, orgías, y cosas semejantes a estas, acerca de las cuales os amonesto. Como ya os le he dicho antes, que los que practican tales cosas no heredarán el reino de Dios. Verse 22 says, But the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Mas el fruto del Espíritu es amor, gozo, paz, paciencia, benignidad. 23 says, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Verse number 24 also says, and they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Mansedumbres, templanza, contra tales cosas no hay ley. Pero los que son de Cristo han crucificado la carne con sus pasiones y deseos. Verse 25 says, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Si vivimos por el Espíritu, andemos también por el Espíritu. 26 finally says, let us not be desirous of vainglory, uh, provoking one another, envying uh, and uh, another, one another. No nos hagamos van a lluviosos, irritar, irritarnos unos a otros.
nosotros envidiándonos unos a otros. These verses prove that the works of the flesh are many. Uh, estos versículos uh, demuestran que los deseos de la carne son muchos. The works of the flesh are in every age. Que los deseos de la carne están en todo tipo de, de edades. The works of the flesh are in every nation. De, de todas the works of the flesh are, is in even every church. Uh, y hasta en cada, uh, when we read verse number 16, uh, el 16, it says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust. Of the flesh. Dios pues habrá en el Espíritu y no te haga tu deseo de la carne. There is a constant battle that is in each of us. So if we look at verse number 17. Uh, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and there are a contrary, and these are contrary, uh, uh, the one to another, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would do. Uh, es una batalla constante, y el versículo 17 dice, Porque el deseo de la carne es contra el espíritu, y el espíritu es contra la carne, y estos se oponen entre sí. I just want to get over to you, all who are within the hearing. But the works of the flesh is in our lives. We can't overlook it. It affects every single person in this room. There are some categories. Let's take a look at them. what this Bible says. The verses we just read. What does it say about the works of the flesh? First, it talks about uh, uh, sexual purity or immorality. Uh, it says uh, uh, here that uh, uh, sometimes that we are impure when it comes to sexual morality. Uh, there is fornication amongst us. There is uh, adultery amongst us. Uh, there is an unclean spirit, uncleanliness in the things that we do. Sometimes we we act a little lewd. Years ago, they didn't do this. 
But the men walk around, and we walk around in the public, up and down the street with no shirt on. Women think they're clean when they the dresses come way up here. That's good. Oh, I don't want to pick on anybody. Sometimes, ladies, think about this. When you sit down and your dresses are too high and a man looks at you, you got to understand, if you dress a certain way, you're going to be looked at. A veces las mujeres tienen que uh, estar conscientes de que su vestido está muy corto y se sientan, uh, los hombres te van a ver, te van a mirar. We should dress according to who we are. Uh, nos debemos de vestir de acuerdo con quienes somos. We should carry ourselves according to who we are. So the question is, who are you? Worldly? Worldly? Christian? The works of the flesh. Uh, fornication. Uncleanliness, lustful actions. Ah, now there's another group the Bible talks about. Look at verse number 20. It says there, idolatry, witchcraft. Hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies. Bigotería, uh, hechiceras, enemistades, pleitos, celos, iras, contiendas, disensiones, heresías. Idolatry is, uh, is a, uh, a worship of false gods. Uh, idolatría es uh, adorar a, a dioses falsos. In today's world, we don't have, uh, or at least, uh, I take that back. We do have idolatry of false gods in our world. Uh, hoy en día es, hay ejemplos de idolatría en este mundo. Some people still worship a cow. Uh, mucha gente todavía some people still worship the sun. Some still worship the moon. There are those, I'm going to break this down. There are those who worship their things. Material. Materials. Sometimes you have a little fun. Some of you look pretty good this morning. You look like you might have a little money. We look like we are well fed. Nos vemos bien comidos. Our clothes are, look so good. Uh, we have nice jobs. Nice positions in the community. Beautiful cars. And so, take it a little bit from Bernard, you know, uh, on Sunday, 
this is one of the things that you and I talked about some time back, but on Sunday, what we do is we don't come to church to worship, give God a piece of our time. We go out, we wash our big, beautiful car. Uh, a veces, en vez de venir aquí a lavar a nuestros amigos, vamos a lavar a nuestro carro. That's idolatry. Eso es idolatry. We count our money or we look at our bank accounts. Uh, contamos nuestro dinero o vemos en nuestros cuentos de banco. And we breathe a sigh of relief because they're so full. Y nos da uh, paz sabiendo que tenemos la cuenta llena. What are we making that money? What do we make of it? It is idolatry. ¿Qué hacemos con ese dinero? Eso es idolatría. We forget that God blessed us to give. Uh, nos olvidamos que Dios nos bendició para agradecer. So we use it. You know, we're blessed by it. And there's nothing wrong with money. Que no hay nada malo con el dinero porque estamos bendecidos por If I could get a few dollars from you guys, I would surely do it. But I am not going to worship what God blessed me with. I'm going to worship the one who gave it. Another thing, the Bible talks about uh, witchcraft. Otra cosa que la Biblia habla es hechicería. Uh, uh, any of you ever went and had a palm reading or anything like that? Algunos de ustedes han ido que le lean la mano. I want to know what my future is going to be. Quiero saber si qué qué tiene su futuro. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna see if if tomorrow is going to be better for me. Quería ver si Mañana va a ser un mejor día para él. The Bible says so that those things are witchcraft. Pero la Biblia dice que esas son hechicerías. Well, let me show you another thing that's happening here. Uh, we have uh, another group, uh, uh, and, and, and this is uh, an important group too. It's talking about hatred. Uh, otra cosa que uh, hay que hablar es de uh, odio. Uh, verse number 21 says envy. Uh, it says murder. Homicidios. It says drunkenness. Borracheras. It says reveling. Uh, and such like. Y cosas uh, of which you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they would do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Acerca de las cuales os amonesto, como ya os lo he dicho antes, que los que practican tales cosas no eran el reino de Dios. You might say that, you might even think that you haven't murdered anybody. Podrías pensar o decir que nunca has matado a alguien. You might think about, oh, I could just kill him. Uh, I'm going to pensar, voy a matar o algo así. But then sometimes we murder by what we say about somebody. Pero a veces matamos a alguien con lo que decimos sobre ellos. Do you know you can kill a person's reputation? Uh, podemos matar su reputación. Do you know that you can hurt a person so they can't even get a job? Uh, lastimarlos hasta el punto de que no puedan encontrar trabajo. We have problems today with some of our social media. Uh, tenemos problemas con el social media, Facebook y todo eso. I'm not saying anything is wrong with it. I do it. I have a certain purpose that I do it for. Really, it's about me, music, and some good things I might say. For these spiritual things. Time now. Uh, but sometimes I've seen some things on social media that are killers. Uh, 
no está diciendo que nada de todo eso sea malo porque él lo usa para música y para tocar con sus hermanos y todo eso. Uh, pero hay veces que ven algo que es más a We get into each other's business. Uh, nos metemos en los problemas de otros. And we act like it's okay. Y es como si fuera bien. Because I don't like what you would call it. Porque no me gusta al que sea. I got some stuff to put out there about what you would call it. A ver si le invento algo de esa persona. Murder. Uh, homicidio. Look here. Ah, uh, when we think about it, ah, uh, let's just take a look, if you would, please. Uh, Galatians uh, 15 says, but if ye bite and devour one another. Now, this is Galatians 5, and verse number 15 says, but if ye bite and devour one another. Galatians 5, 15. And when I say that, I'm not talking about the outside world. Pero si no os moderéis y coméis unos a otros, mirad que también no os consumías unos a otros. Pero no está hablando de que consumimos nosotros mismos. When Paul wrote these things, he was talking to the church. Cuando Pablo habló sobre eso. Telling us when we bite in the Bible. Do you know what that means? Bite in the Bible. When we hurt each other with our mouths. When we hurt each other by the way we treat one another. When we hurt one another by not speaking to one another. And we put ourselves up on a pedestal thinking we're right, they're wrong, so I'm okay. Uh, when we look at the verse. In the verse, Now listen, uh, thou shalt not 
hate thy brother. We're different somewhat. We grew up differently. We have different cultures. We think differently. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I left you out of here. Uh, dice la Biblia que hay que amar a nuestros hermanos. Y no somos, aunque seamos diferentes, actuamos diferente, hay que amar a otros. Look here. If you're my brother, I have to love you. Si eres hermano, te tengo que amar. You have to love me. Y usted me tiene que amar a mí. We all actually are funny sometimes, right? Huh? A veces puede ser algo chistoso. Pues. But you act a little funny too. Pero también ustedes son chistosos. Rio got his ways. I got my way, Bill. <laughs> Bill acts up sometime. Sometime you're going to get angry at Bill. A veces te vas a enojar con Bill. But Bill is still your brother. Pero aún es tu hermano. Look here. Uh, uh, my sister, my. Father, listen, when your mama spanks you for what you do, do you hate her? Ay, cuando tu mamá te pega por hacer algo, la odias? When your father, some of y'all say dad, when your father spanks you or spanks you, some of y'all grown now, so, I mean, most of y'all grown, some of y'all overgrown. When you got a spanking, did you hate your father? When your brother ate the last piece of cornbread, did you hate your brother? When your sister wore your last new dress, and you were about to wear it somewhere, Did you hate your sister? I don't know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Do you know what I'm talking about? We do things sometimes and hurt each other. But do we, do we hate each other? Okay. Do we hate each other? 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in the heart. Thou shalt not, uh, uh, thou shalt in any way rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Wait a minute. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou uh, shalt love. Thou shalt love. You didn't hear me. Thou shalt love thy neighbor. Listen. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. God gave us love. God is love. He says we should love our brothers. We should love our family. Here we sit as a Spanish and English congregation. We have nothing against each other. You are my brother. You are my sister. You know? But wait a minute. Wait a minute. What about the one in the English congregation? Did you love you? I'm talking about the one that you sit with all the time. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Spanish congregation, the ones you sit with all the time. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Did they, did they do something wrong to you when you <laughs> do they do that? And so you quit talking. And the question is, do you display God's word? <sighs> Look, I'm almost done. I, I got to quit. Do we have selfish ambition? Is there a dissension in our churches? Is there problems one with another? Dan, uh, I don't even know you well. And I come in, you got this nice full beard, I can't even grow one. You got a nice, I 
gave you a mind this patch. I don't like him. Because he looked better than me. That's how we are sometimes, folks. Oh, he dressed me. He loved me. Oh, he fixed. He sucked because he got a new car. Okay, I'm sorry. Then I, I left you that time. But look, I'm gonna I'm gonna end this thing up. Listen. We, we have selfish ambition sometimes. This is all part of the fleshly one. We have selfish ambitions. We'll step on each other to get where we want to go. And I'm talking to the church. Uh, a veces somos envidiosos por unos de los otros, pero no tenemos que ser. I'm going to hear this. Well, look here. Turn back to me. Yeah, we 
we, we set up our love by the love we give one another. Y con nuestro amor quedamos a cada quien. Do you realize that God knows every one of you? ¿Se dan cuenta de que Dios conoce a todos ustedes? Do you know? And listen, people will say all the time, you know, he knows my heart. Uh, la gente siempre van a decir, él conoce nuestro corazón. But a lot of times we will say that as we do something wrong. Pero muchas veces hacemos eso uh, mientras hacemos algo mal. Do we have the fruits of the Spirit? Tenemos nosotros el fruto del Espíritu. You think on that. Piensen en eso. As we stand and sing the invitation song, do you feel